highlights the findings from a phase three trial adding novel immunotherapy, daratumumab, to bortezomib and dexamethasone for the treatment of relapsed or refractory multiple myeloma. I would now like to invite lead study author, Dr. Antonio Palumbo, Chief of Myeloma Unit at the Department of Oncology, University of Torino in Italy to present the findings. Thank you very much. Thank you for selection of this uh, study. I'm presenting here for myeloma, a very important uh, randomized study on the behalf of uh, several investigators that participated uh, to the Castor clinical study. This is a phase three randomized control study comparing the combination of daratunumab, a novel fully humanized monoclonal antibodies in combination with bortezomib and dexamethasone. And this combination has been compared with bortezomib and dexamethasone that is currently the standard of care for the treatment of relapse and refractory multiple myeloma. Why this is uh, relevant? In the era of the immune oncology, we are now starting and we hope to have our RCHOP that has been a major treatment for lymphoma now also available with a different antibodies uh, for multiple myeloma. The importance is this, we have a monoclonal that is eating the most relevant tumor antigen for plasma cells, the CD38, so a very specific target. On the other hand, this antibody has a major direct uh, cytotoxicity activity through the complement or the antibody, and this translates uh, in a major tumor reduction and a profound cytoreduction. But probably the third arm that is probably more relevant uh, is uh, the ability to both increase uh, the T cell activity and the immune system that is able to control the tumor, but also to reduce uh, the immune system that is uh, suppressing the activity of uh, the immune uh, system. This is the study design, and basically is uh, all patient relapse or refractory with at least uh, one prior lines of therapy from two, three, four lines of therapy, so advanced stage of diseases. And their randomization was between the free drug daratunumab, bortezomib, and dexamethasone. Daratunumab has been delivered at the dose of 16 milligram per kg versus uh, the standard, current standard of care, bortezomib, and dexamethasone. The primary endpoint was progression-free survival, and different secondary endpoint has been included in the study. These are the efficacy uh, shown in this uh, slide, and I would like to highlight the first uh, relevant issue. The hazard ratio was 0 3, 9, unprecedented in randomized studies uh, that compare novel treatment for relapse refractory multiple myeloma, and this translated in a 61 reduction in the 61 percent reduction in the risk of progression of death. The median progression free survival was not yet reached while the median progression free survival was seven months in the control arm. But you can see here that at one here, there is the progression free survival is around 30% and is moving up to 60% in the experimental arm. And this translates in a doubling in terms of remission duration for those patients. The response rate was also quite relevant in terms of efficacy results, and especially for the profound cytoreduction. The CR rate moved from 9 to 19 percent, and the very good partial response from 29 to 59 percent. So there is a doubling in the rate of CR and VGPR, 
And this is quite relevant because more patients do achieve a profound site reduction. The remission duration is almost triplicated in patients with CR or VGPR versus patients with minimal response or partial response. What about the safety? The safety was another uh, relevant finding, probably present in many other combinations. Monoclonal do not increase uh, the cumulative toxicity or the toxicity that is coming from the combination bortezomib and dexamethasone. Daratunumab did not significantly increase any toxicities that was already present in the combination bortezomib and dexamethasone. You have here a higher proportion of thrombocytopenia and peripheral neuropathy, but this is mainly due by the fact that the experimental arm was longer exposed to bortezomib in comparison to the control arm that had a higher proportion of early progressions. There was some infusion-related re reaction, and this was experienced in 45% of patients, mainly 90% of them during the first infusion. Generally speaking, is the rate of infusion reaction you may, may see many other monoclonal use for cancer therapy. So which is the conclusion of this study? Daratunumab, as I said before, is probably one, and we hope, uh, will be uh, the translation of the RCHOP from lymphoma in the daratunumab combination therapy for myeloma, significantly improve progression-free survival and response rate, and the combination was associated with a 61 reduction percent reduction in the risk of progression. The benefit was maintained across different subgroups, younger, older, good prognosis, bad prognosis, previously exposed to bortezomib or not exposed to bortezomib. And daratunumab VD double both VGPR rate and CR rate, and toxicity were consistent with the single agent, but more important, there was no cumulative toxicity. So the final conclusion is that uh, daratunumab VD might be considered today a new standard of care for relapse and refractive multiple myeloma. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Palumbo. Um, really important study looking at the addition of uh, immunotherapy to uh, standard therapy, and this is sort of a, a theme that we're seeing in, in a lot of our different diseases, and now in multiple myeloma as well, uh, improvement in progression-free survival and potentially overall survival later on. 